Hey guys, Captain Crows here. I fixed my screen flow. Um, I'm really sorry about uh, the hardcore um, next couple of hardcore, and I wouldn't upload them because if you go check out the one I just uploaded, it has a watermark all across the screen, and that's really annoying for me. Trust me, I I did not realize that you couldn't. Yeah, that you could, like, um, not have that, so, and I can't go back because it's hardcore, so I'm really sorry about that, but I fixed it, um, so now the rest of the recordings I get from this software, ScreenFlow for Mac, uh, it won't have that stuff, um, that watermark, so that's good. Um, so yeah, I'm just giving you an update on the town, um, the town server that we have. We're pretty much done with the Olympic server. Um, that was a lot of fun making. But right now we're on to the town. So this, what I'm on right now is an intercontinental railway kind of thing. And we should be getting there soon. Yeah, there we are. Um, so yeah, I might cut out the trip back because I'm going to have to go back there. Um, probably should have showed you the head, but uh, that over there first, but whatever. Okay, so yeah, bridges are all basically the same, but we did add, what did we add? I think we added, I'm not sure if we added anything over here, let me think. No, I don't think we did. No, we didn't. Okay, so, so we got, oh, well, we did add beacons. Um, we have one there, two there. Um... So the houses here are like beacon keeper houses. I'm not sure if I said this in the last video. We added lamps here, uh, street lamps, just because they didn't have to be bridges. They should have been land on the land, like when it switches over to actual land road like this. Uh, added lamps and stuff over here. I'm pretty sure we had those. We have a couple of new houses over here. Again, we're just trying to switch up our builds a little bit because they're all kind of looking the same. But I thought that was interesting. We still need to furnish all these places. Uh, so we'll do that later. Um, definitely we'll do that later. This is Triad Airsoft's new house. Um, on this island that is. Uh, he didn't really like the other one but I told him not to take it down just because we need all the houses we can get. Hold on. So this is the house I built. It's kind of similar to uh, Happy Gilmore 444's house over on the other island over there. Uh, and I think we had this house, but I'm not sure. <laughs> we turned off this light. Um, yeah, I kind of like this house. Pretty interesting. And I think that's it. Oh no, we did add this house too. I like this house too. It's like uneven, but I kind of like it. And in a couple more of our builds, you'll see that we have um, some of this action going on here, the uh, checkerboard pattern. Um, that really like, was the style of this house. And again, oh, we added, um, what are these, outhouses, just because <laughs> we were bored. So, And then we have another beacon keeper here, and this house. So that's pretty cool. I never even saw this. So yeah, we still need to furnish all these houses. But what we have been working on is over here. I will show you. I will fly over the island so you can see kind of how long it takes to fly as opposed to the minecart. I think it's about the same time. Um, but we have a big island over here that I just kept building this uh, railway. I just kept building it and building it out until I hit something, and eventually I did. And it was kind of odd because I hit it at like the perfect spot. Like you'll see, it's pretty funny. Um, but there's a massive expanse of ocean here. Like you could get lost if you lost your way from the rail pretty easily. And luckily, there's a lot of people in the game normally, so we can just TP to them. But yeah, so we should be getting there soon. It took a while to build this just because I had to go, my head was like even with the water and then I would just 
fly backwards and place the box. And then I put down all the redstone torches and all the actual torches. Like that. And then every so often I put a tower rail. So what we've done is we have built um, three houses. And we've kind of made a roadway system, but not completely. We're thinking of building a lighthouse right where my crosshair is, right there. Uh, but we're not sure yet. So I built these two windmills next to Happy Gilmore 44 Horse House just because they were on hills. And I kind of like the way they looked on the hills. His house is kind of a massive cabin. Um, it's like a lot of it's glass, most of it's glass. He's going to add stuff back here, I think he said. And uh, a lot of windows. He has a grand staircase. A lot of us do. Actually, all of us do here. Um, so he has a little floor here, which I think is pretty interesting. And it's really open. like You can see everything down there. So that's kind of a unique feature. Then we'll go over to... I'll go inside the windows, I guess. Uh, those are my school colors, the flag. Uh, and then this is the inside. It's nothing really special. Um, they're pretty simple to make. They probably took like 10 minutes each. Um, I just had to get down the first one and then I easily like rocked out the second one. So this is Charlie Airsoft 1's house. I'll show you them and then I'll show you them in daytime just in case you think they're different. Uh, he has a lot of ground floor here. He's probably going to fill it up. That's his dog. What's his name? Or her name? Sheila? I'm not sure. Uh, one of the, uh, it was probably she. Oh, crap. Whatever. I'll fix it. Uh, I think it was Sheila. And I actually, when I was building my house and the floor, I put silverfish stone or monster spawning stone. Um, the stone bricks because I was in this. Where is it? That. And I thought I was in this, so I was just like, oh, I'll grab some of this and I'll place it. Now I have that. So when I was building my house, I didn't realize so it was bad. And there were just tons of silverfish just like flopping around everywhere. I was like, oh no. And then, see, there's the checkerboard. There's a chandelier. Um, cool designs on the corners. And up top, uh, glowstone, and in the middle is glass. So I thought this house was pretty interesting. To me, it kind of looked like a palace. Almost. Especially with the roof, it's like stone, but it it looks like it's not stone. It looks like it's like I don't even know. It looks like um some sort of because it's so contrasted with this that it like pops out. Especially with the wood in the middle. It looks pretty cool. We still have to light up the streets with like lamps and stuff um, so yeah and then I was working on this this is my house uh, I tried to light it up mostly with glowstone in the, on the inside except for the around the railing just because it needed sunlight there's my chandelier um, so when you're walking up it looks kinda cool uh, I have redstone torches uh, like on the sides of the lamps. I didn't want the lamps to be on the outside because then it looked pretty weird coming out of the roof. And I wanted it to look symmetrical, so I put redstone on either side. I know that's not necessary. <laughs> uh, and then it's it's I designed it to be like like a warm house design. Like you feel like you should live at home here. It's like feels like a home because the wood gives you like kind of that feel the striped wood. Um, it feels warm in Minecraft, I guess. I mean, can't really be warm in Minecraft. And then down here, it feels like it looks like it should be a little bit colder because of the stone. This is where I put all the... I basically had finished with the silverfish stone, or the monster egg stone, and then I started destroying them and they were just flopping everywhere. They're probably still around here unless they despawn. And then I have torches underneath the... the blocks there 
and then there, and then this is the only three window. So I thought it was a pretty interesting house. Um, it's pretty even, top and bottom. I think it looks kind of cool how they kind of match up, the windows meet, and they're both at second level height, so you can look out. And then on the roof, I had a design that just kind of went up. Um, it was kind of meant to look like uh, your average house roof, which is kind of hard to do in Minecraft. Um, so I didn't want to make it too, too big, but I didn't want to make it small either, just because I had to compete with that. Like his first floor is taller than my whole building. Then again, he's on a higher ground, but... And he has these pillars in front. He looked it up, and... Well, he didn't look up the actual build, but he looked up, uh, like, mansion on Google Images. And he saw pillars, probably is what I'm guessing. And he, he built it. So, yeah, they're all very different designs, um, different buildings. Uh, and the stairs, if you noticed, behind the stairs in my house, those are my colors, my school colors, too. And we all have horses on the roof, except for Happy Gilmore. Um, so, yeah, tell us what you, who's you think is better. Uh, try it airsoft wanted to know. So yeah, comment in the description which one you think is the best. Uh, I said again, we're gonna add a lighthouse over there, put a road to it, and then I don't know what else. I'll probably do some landscaping around my house, and so will they. Um, try it airsoft's kind of on a point, so we can't do too much. Uh, Happy Gilmore said he was going to put a farm back there, and then we're going to add some lamps. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Hopefully this uh, screen flow will record in pretty good HD quality. Um, I know my quality hasn't been the best right now. I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, but when I do, my content will be a lot better. I actually just got the YouTube partnership. Not all the way. I can't do I can I didn't monetize monetization <laughs> uh, didn't really know that was a word until I found it today but it basically allows you to get paid for your YouTube videos even though I'm not gonna get that much because I don't get that many views but they're only like those five second ad skip things so hopefully you guys can suffer through them with me um, but yeah thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time